Welcome to the Michiana Business Podcast, where we put local legends and businesses in the spotlight for everyone in our area to see. If you love small businesses and success stories, then you're in the right place. You're listening to the Michiana Business Podcast with your friends, hosts, and owners of industrial office cleaning right here in Michiana, Caitlin and Alonzo Perdomo. If I'm a very new um, buyer, I want to buy from you guys. What is the typical typical questions that I had to ask, what I had to look for, uh, how did I uh, go and talk to you? And also, well, let's go with those questions first and then I'll address the other ones. Yeah. So the easiest way is if you're a new buyer, you don't know what you're doing, but you know what you're looking for. Or even if you don't know what you're looking for, but you know what you like in cars, you know, that's my job every day. That's what I do consistently. So you come in, you walk in the door, ask for Roberto, um, and we'll sit you down and I will help you out. I'll, I'll ask you the questions because I'm trained for that. You know, what, what do you like in a car? What do you like leather or cloth? What colors do you like? I ask you, what features do you want? Do you like certain makes or models? You know, have you seen anything you like? And I'll, I'll diagnose all of those things to take that, like, oh, I don't know what to do. Uh, that, that worrying, I'll, I'll take that away for you. I'll make it easy. How, how, how hard is to review my credit? Like if yeah, I go there and I'm like, I don't have all the money, Roberto. How, what kind of car can I afford? How did I get that? Or how much money did I yeah. have to down? So it's really easy. Um, we can do one credit check at the dealership and that'll kind of give us a good idea. And we'll, we'll break it down for you. You know, like this is where you're at. You know, say you don't have a lot of credit. That's, that's sometimes worse than having a lot of bad things on the credit. You never know. Uh, so if you don't have any credit and you're worried about it, we'll let you know, like maybe a little bit of a down payment will help you save a little bit of money, but with this much down, we can get you this car. You'd be around this payment. Um, if you're worried, we have credit rebuilding programs. So people who maybe have had a repossession or two, they think they can't get a car anywhere because they've, they've messed up. It, it's not like that. We have programs where we can go in. We have certain cars that are at low price points, lower than value. And the banks will still take them up because if you don't make your payments, the banks get that car back and they'll make money off of it. So Either way, they got they got their back. But if you make all your payments and do it on time and do it right, you can actually build your credit back up and get another chance. And it's it's a good saver for a lot of people. When I first started a year ago, I had a customer who came to me and they were like, I, I can't get a car. I, I, there's no way I'm possibly getting approved. And I was like, let me help you out. So they put a small down payment. I think it was like $1,000, $500, somewhere around there. And I got them approved on a car. They made payments for a year and they made extra payments. So they, they paid it down and they traded it in like last month and they got a nicer awesome. car. They got a lower interest rate and they're, they're building up their credit. They're doing well again, you know? <laughs> wow. That is, that is amazing guys. Because yeah, I, I, everybody up there is freaking out like about how can I build my credit? Look at Roberto. He helped somebody to build the credit back up. And who knows if you can buy a house because you was having a bad credit is with going with Roberto and help you out to kind of understand the credit. Now you can get a loan for a house. So it's a key change when you have somebody that is really there to help people, not screw people up. And I think uh, this guy is amazing, guys. I think uh, too bad I just got a truck. So if you know, I will buy it from you guys. I'm so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but any, anyways, um, so let's go for the insurance. I mean, how did, how did insurance work? Like, let's say I have a like 2021 car or I have like... Um, 2018, how the insurance work with you? What kind of insurance did I need to give for the car? So most lenders, if you're taking out a loan on the car, most lenders require full coverage. Um, So there's a lot of partners. So like uh, I have an individual uh, insurance rep I send, I can send you to uh, actually in our BNI group, Jamie. (laughs) <laughs> oh, okay. There um, so they come into the dealership and they're like, Hey, I, I need full coverage insurance, but I, I don't want to, I don't want it too expensive of a rate. You know, I have my partners like Jamie that I'll send them her way and she'll take care of them. She'll give them a good rate. And then we'll, we'll do that all real easy. All I need is that proof of insurance and you can drive off. Wow. That is awesome. Awesome. Awesome guys. I think, I think you guys need to go get a new car. If you guys up there and struggle with the car and you're like, I don't know. Uh, if it's the right time, or, or I don't know if I can get my my uh, credit up there for the car, just give it a shot. Contact Roberto uh, and go up there in Granger and say, hey, how can I get a new car if my car is going to be bad for the winter? Especially in the winter, you don't want to be out in the winter with a bad tire or the car is 
keep going off and on and you're like, what the heck am I supposed to do? Contact Roberto. He will help you out. Is that right, buddy? Yeah, I'll, I'll always help you out. That's my goal is to make it easy and make it affordable. Okay. So let, let's make it a little bit hard for you, buddy. Why do you do what you do? I do it because I love the look on people's faces when they they found their new love and they they got they can afford it, you know? I I I love that feeling of like successfully helping somebody and mm -hmm. a lot of times like uh, I'm not going to lie a lot of my customers they don't speak English and yep. they, th they there's not a lot of dealerships out there they can go to is what they tell me and they're like I don't know who to talk to, I don't know who to trust. And when you come talk to me, I, I try to be your best friend. I, I try to help you out because you're you're the ultimate winner here. And I, I want you to be happy. I want you to be happy with the car, the payment, and with, with your experience. And I want you to be taken care of. So it's, it's, I do it because I love helping people. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. He's been really honest. He's really sweet. He's really kind. And guys, trust me, I, I know him and uh, we belong to a group together and He's seen pretty sweet and sincere all the time, so I I, I can trust him. I, I I I believe that he will tell you the truth. Maybe sometimes it's gonna be harsh. It's like, oh, dude, I'm sorry, you cannot pass the credit card. But I mean, the credit. Let's see if we can help you some other way. But and sometimes you don't want to hear that. But it is better to have the truth than put you up there and burn yourself out. So let me ask you this other question how how is the uh process when uh you guys get a car well if you can talk about this if you can talk about this we, we don't have to talk about it but a lot of people up there see like this nice cars and la everything looks so gorgeous but what is the a story behind to get up car in the parking lot looking nice and ready for the clients yeah no i can talk about the process for sure so it, it goes through a lot of steps so first you have um when we get when we buy a car whether it's from an, uh, another dealership a wholesaler whether it's from an individual wherever we get the car from it goes straight to service before anybody can touch it anybody can drive it it has to be driven by a service manager given to a service tech inspected it's put on the lift it goes up they check the underneath the, they check how it runs they take it around to a, a drive route they take it over there on capital they give it some speed and make sure it's running good after that we go through to the um, detailing. Uh, so they give it a good, well, the cleaners, the cleaners give it a good clean. They make sure it's all good. Um, clean what cleanliness wise. Then it goes to the detailers. They do any like big touches they need to do anything like say that there was a car and it wasn't an accident. You know, we will tell you it wasn't an accident, but we'll fix the damage. So you'll never know it's an accident. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of all of that. Make sure it's looking okay for the lot. And then we'll put it on our lot, sticker it up, put the price tag, put the um, information for the car, all of the stuff that you would want to know. And then you work with me. <laughs> awesome. The reason that I asked this question, buddy, because I, I've been in the stores and I just grab like, a, a, let's say, for example, a Paxico, uh, whatever. I'm like, uh, I want to know what is all the steps that going through uh, this Paxi to be able to me just reach inside this freezer grab it out and it's starting. It's a lot that goes in behind the scenes that nobody sees it. You just, they just see the flashing thing. You're like, oh, this is cool. Well, it's a lot of sacrifice that goes in the back um, to get that beautiful model there. So I just wanted uh, you to share that process because it's really powerful when you start thinking like, how did this car get here? How did it go there? How did it go? And now I'm driving a really nice and neat. I'm paying good money for it, but it goes through a lot of process and a lot of hard work for all the people like cleaners, the Painters, the uh, all the mechanic, all the safety stuff, data, the managers, all that is it's really powerful how everything runs. So that's why I ask you that question. The other question that I have, like let's say for example, uh, one of our listeners is like a business owner, and uh, he needs like a couple of trucks, he needs a couple a couple bands. Um, how does that work with you guys? Do you guys do that, or you guys don't? Offer I, I, absolutely, super easy. Just give me a call, I'll do the rest. So. You say you need two two work vans and you just need these specific settings. So we have uh, pretty much I'll ask you, do you want new or used? If you want used, we'll go out and we can locate those vans for you. Um, you put a down payment and then we'll go find the vans within 500 miles, bring them here and make sure they're perfect to what you're needing for your business. If you want new, we could go over to our Chevy World store. We can go over to a Toyota store, whatever you're looking for, a truck, a van or whatever. We can... Um, 
get all of the specs of everything you're looking for the engine size what you need towing capacity what you need for the workload if you need like specific work boxes on the tool bed or anything like that we'll get all of those ordered and customize whatever you're ordering and then we'll it'll be here in a couple of weeks a couple months whatever it takes right now awesome awesome so uh for example let's say for the heck of it uh, i'm i'm trusting you I, I know who you are where why you do sell cars and I call you randomly and I say, hey, I wanted this type of bin. Can you give me at least four of them? Uh, I don't even have to go look the bin. You guys probably deliver to my shop or you guys don't do that. Yeah, we'll deliver to your shop. Um, just give me a call. You know, when I work with my customers, I go out of the way. So uh, I've delivered to houses. I've delivered to businesses. What a service, guys. What a service. Can you mind you? Yes, it's those days when uh, typically when a uh, business owner is running a company, he doesn't have the time to go look at car and have somebody that you can trust and they're going to give you what they say. Uh, having that kind of trust and relationship with somebody that works in a dealer and bring you the cars to you. And you really focus on what you need to do, focus and get more money so you can make more money to pay those bands and you continue. <laughs> For sure. That's totally awesome. So I'm glad that you mentioned that because a lot of I'm sure a lot of people will be like, oh, let me call Robert because I need a couple of bands or whatever they need. So hopefully they can call you and give you and trust you. So okay, Robert, we're gonna go on uh, now in the route with um Three things that you can say about uh, not to do when you buy a car. When you're shopping at a dealership, things to look out for is cheaper is not better. That's one thing to yeah. look out for. So <laughs> we have very inexpensive cars. And with 160,000 miles, 150,000 miles, they pass the safety inspection. They run and drive. But there's no warranties on something like that. It's an as-is car. You know, if you are in a position where you can afford a little bit more of a payment, but you're trying to save a lot of money, Cheaper sometimes is good at first, but a year, two years down the road, you're going to be putting a lot of money, a lot more money into the car than you would have been spent just buying a newer car. So one thing to look out for, cheaper is not always better. Uh, number two to look out for is don't expect it to be perfect, I guess. Uh, a lot of people, when they're buying a used car, there's a scratch on the door. There's a scratch on something and we can fix all of that. You know, they, we make it look good and presentable. But if you're wanting every single little thing to be detailed, it's very hard, even on a new car. Like it could, something could happen in the delivery and, you know, it needs repaired. And we're, we're willing to help out with that. We're willing to do all of that, but that stuff isn't free, you know? So it's, it's one of those things where if you're going and you're expecting perfection, perfection doesn't exist in this world. So oh, I, <laughs> look at me. <laughs> uh, so don't expect perfection, but. If you want something fixed, you know, we, we, we can do those things. It's just not going to be perfect every time right away. Don't go on with a closed mind because I, I know a lot, a lot about cars now that I've been in the business for a while. And I would, I want to present you with every option. Um, if I take you out to a car to show it to you, don't be like, no, I'm not driving. That. I'm not looking at that. Tell me what you like and what you don't like about it. Because if you absolutely hate it, I don't want you to buy it. But I need to know the things you don't like about it, you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah. don't go with a closed mind. Take, Tell me everything. Go with an open mind. And if you if you help me help you, you'll be happier in the end. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use this uh, simple. Like, let's say, for example, if you guys go to a doctor and you like the tell the doctor, hey, it hurts. What it hurts? Uh, I don't know. What can the doctor give you? Nothing, right? It's the same thing with Robert. I mean, if you go to him and say, okay, what do I like, what I don't like, it's more uh, easy for him to kind of keep helping you. But if you go like, ah, I don't like it, that, that's kind of painful mine right there. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, that's really good. Uh, so now three things that you can tell the people to um, to be successful in life or successful in what you do or three things that you've done, you're like, uh, uh, this is really good for this situation to improve even money, whatever. Whatever you can um, give in to them to yeah. improve in something. Be genuine. Um, if you're out there every single day and you're being genuine, it, it brings rewards. It, 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 being genuine and being yourself when you're going out there in your everyday life brings opportunities. It brings connections and it makes everyone's life a little easier. Be honest, I guess. You know, when you're going out there, if you lie, it creates problems in reality you know and if you're going out there and you are i'll give an example people come in and they tell me what they're what they want and what they can afford and they lied about some of the things you know they're like oh i can afford this and then we go through and they're like oh wait i lied i i, I can't afford that you know it's it's when you go out there in life 
lying makes it everything more difficult. So don't do it. You know, it, it's it's an easy thing one to avoid. You're caring. You're um, it, it goes around with being genuine, uh, being caring. You know, we don't know what people are going through in life. You know, yeah. if someone sure. if someone comes at you with a bad attitude and they're being a Karen or they're you know having having a hard causing you a hard time, sometimes they might be going through a lot. You know, yep. treat them treat them with respect, care for them, love them, and a lot of times those people who are the hardest they'll open up, and when you really get to know them and you care for them, they they become awesome people. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true because out, out there we don't know. Some days you get up in the morning and you go to work and then you meet some other person, make you mad. And then you meet the second person and you show up with the attitude. And you're like, oh, why, why are you acting like that? But you never know what is really behind. Uh, the struggle in family, the struggle with finances. We don't know. So you are right. We have to take care of each other and kind of respect them and kind of uh, continue supporting each other because we don't know what we're going through. It's unique and have different stories. What kind of book do you recommend uh, to our uh, audience to read, um, to improve? Whatever book do you you been reading right now? It depends on what you're what you're looking to accomplish in reality. So, like, I am a business person. Uh, mm -hmm. One book I I've read is um, One Minute Manager. Uh, one minute. Pretty pretty good book that is about business and it talks about a lot of um, a ways to succeed and be better uh, as a person, let alone a manager uh, successful in business. Um, you said three books. No, 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 just uh, I have three more questions, but that's one. So that's good. So one minute management, you say? One one minute manager, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, what is your favorite restaurant? If somebody uh, is loving to hear our conversation and say, oh, I want to meet him in person, and you're like, oh, what restaurants he's hanging out? He tells your favorite restaurant. So if they want to see you there or. Yeah. Um, Oof, that's my favorite restaurant. That's a hard one. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say Applebee's. I'm going to say Applebee's. I, I, awesome, I love going awesome. there and getting the deals that they have there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. That, that's a great restaurant. That's a great restaurant. It has really a good appetizers and good food. So that's great. So the last one, what is Robert doing his pastime? If you have a free time, because I know you're a busy man all the yeah. time around. So if you have a free time, what, what do you do? When I have free time and when it exists, uh, I like to play video games, um, awesome. watch anime. Uh, pretty, I'm a big geek, and uh, I also like to spend time with friends and family. Um, awesome. I like to go out and just see people. That is great. That is great. And there you have it, guys. Robert with Gates. Can you tell us again your information, where to um, contact you? Where can we go see you? Where can we ask many questions? For sure. So I'm at the Gates of Granger on State Road 23. Um, you can call me at 574-310-7775, or you can email me at the really easy email, robo at gatesofgranger.com. Uh, you tell me what you need. You can call me or text me. You can email me. Whatever you need, I'm here to help. Um, we're on 12815 Indiana 23, uh, Granger, Indiana 46530. That's our address. Awesome, awesome, guys. So there you have it, uh, Robert with uh, Gates, and he's an awesome person. As you know, he already kind of give you an insight how he is. He likes to care for people. He always there. He tried to help as much as he can. And he also give you advices how, what things not to do. So he's a <laughs> awesome person right there. So um, with that said, you want to say anything else to the public, buddy, that you, you want to say? Yeah. Uh, I Just come see me. And even if you... Even if you don't know if you're ready to start shopping for a car, even if you don't know what you're looking for, I'm here to help you with all of that. So maybe you come in and we decide that you don't want to buy a car right now. I want to help you decide that. I want to be your friend and I want to help you along the process. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, guys. There you have it, guys. Don't forget to stop in Granger and Gates and uh, go get ready for change your car. Oh, buy a new car and uh, be prepared for the winter because sometimes those cars go bad in the winter. I don't want to keep pushing for that, but sometimes that happens a lot of time. It happens to me, so unless I'm the only one. <laughs> so so there you have it, guys. So don't forget, this is sponsored by Industrial Office Cleaning. If you need your cleaning needs or disinfectant, we do electric status too to disinfect every single thing in your office. Um, call us, 574-310-7782. Thank you so much for listening and see you in the next episode. 
If you're in the Michiana area and would like to have us put your business or story out there for everyone to hear, sign up at michianabusinesspodcast.com. Until next time, thanks for listening.